During the layout phase, a crew of workers is required to set hubs and stakes and then calculate and publish the offsets and grades. This is a very labor intense process that took about two hours to complete during our study. Next is the earth moving phase, consisting of preparing the existing subgrade, earth excavation, embankment delivery, and compaction. Again, notice the number of people performing the work and doing so in close proximity to the machines, which is a safety concern because of the increased exposure to risk. Also count the number of passes the equipment must make, also as well as the number of workers sitting idle, waiting for continued grade checking and work verification. Very time consuming process, a manual process that often misses production targets while creating substantial amounts of rework. Customers today also can face shortages in skilled labor, contributing to even longer project durations. In this study, the earth moving phase consumed about 15 hours to complete. Moving to the grading phase, spreading and finished grading of aggregate base contributes to significant checking and testing. If measurements identify inaccuracies or, and or out of spec work, more cost and time overruns result. Too much material means additional passes, rework, increased cycle times, and higher fuel consumption. Too little material means extra trucking and or machine delays, in other words, higher unit cost. The grading phase took about nine hours to complete in our study. And then finally on to the paving phase. After the elevations are verified and compaction tests are finalized, paving hubs are set and a string line is installed to guide the paver. The total traditional road building process took about 29 and a half hours to complete. Now we build the same road using Cat Connect technologies and services. Even before construction begins, an unmanned aerial vehicle or UAV flies over the area to survey the site in just a matter of minutes. Let's compare the two roads. Notice in the technology driven road at the bottom of your screen that the layout phase has already been completed in about half the time. There's no need for hubs or stakes since the plans are loaded directly into the machines and fewer people on the site means increased job site safety and less exposure to risk. However, it's during the earth moving and grading phases when customers experience their greatest gains. Machine control and guidance as well as intelligent compaction replace manual processes to eliminate delays and ensure that job site specifications are met. Excavation cuts and fills achieve elevation tolerances and density targets in the fewest number of passes. With technology, operators of any skill level can work confidently without the guesswork. In-cab displays provide machine control and guidance, progress at a glance, and allow grade and compaction to be checked from the cab, keeping operators safe, informed, focused, and much less fatigued. Additionally, wheel loader and articulated truck payload systems reduce cycle times. This ensures delivery of accurate material quantities to the job site, saving time, fuel, and most importantly, money. <clears throat> Finally, on to the paving phase. Technology equals efficiency. No string lines. There's no need for any manual grade checking or all those redundant compaction tests. The result is not only accuracy and consistency, but a better quality road built just about half the time. Here's the payoff to the customer. 31% fewer man hours, better resource allocation, less exposure to risk, and a solution to skilled labor shortages. 34% fewer equipment hours. This results in lower maintenance and repair costs, increased machine availability, effective utilization, and resale value. And not to say, extended machine life cycles. 46% fewer project hours, resulting in lower unit cost, more profit, and increased opportunity to bid for additional work, which can contribute to company growth and expansion. And 37% less fuel consumption, another way to lower unit cost, operating cost, increase profits in machine life, secure competitive bid advantage, and reduce emission levels in greenhouse gases. And speaking of that, this saves 12 acres of forest that's the payoff for lowering greenhouse gas emissions. It's another way innovation is driving sustainable solutions for customers. So how far down the road do you have to go until you reach profitability? 
the investment in new technology for our study was about $250,000. <clears> so with that being said, on a road construction project of about three miles in length, you can see it takes about 79 working days with technology versus 147 working days with traditional methods. But it still falls a little short of that investment of $250,000. However, as you can see, in four miles, you neither have reached the break-even point. That means for every mile thereafter, the customer is banking the profits. Customers report the road to payback using Cat Connect technologies about six to 12 months, depending on the project. This investment puts them in the fast lane, less cost, increased quality and safety, and on to the next project in record time. Thank you.